Good day, you absolute legends. In today's video, I'm going to show you the very best way to get all of the ship parts, every single one of them, and to get infinite quantities of each part. But before we do get into today's video, can I just ask, ladies and gentlemen, that you just double check for me that you are still subscribed to the channel. The reason being is, and as we already know by now, YouTube goes through certain cycles where they will remove and unsubscribe you, the viewer, from your favorite YouTubers without your knowledge or consent. So please just make sure that you are still subscribed. If you need to resubscribe, resubscribe. And if you have been watching me for a while, you like what I do here, then why not consider hitting that subscribe button? Also, ladies and gentlemen please don't forget to leave a like on this very video it helps everything in today's video get out there to the wider youtube audience and everybody then has the chance to get unlimited amounts of ship parts in every variety all right let's get into today's video so the first thing you need to do is make your way over to the very first available procedurally generated space station and then you're gonna land so go into your options menu and go down to difficulty from here where it says crafting and items put everything there completely for free so that's crafting purchasing and so on and it's also a very good idea at this particular point to make a lot of space in your exosuit or in your starship just make as much space as you possibly can because we are going to get a lot of these ship parts now this is just the first step to this method and believe you or me it is very potent very powerful and it's going to get the results that you desire so what we're going to start doing now is any ship that lands at all you are going to go ahead and buy it but because we have used the in-game settings and set the purchasing to free it will not impact your units, Nanites, Quicksilver. It won't impact anything, which means you are completely free now to go ahead and buy every single ship that lands for free and it won't impact you at all. So in my case, I've just got the first wave right there. So we're going to go over to Starship Outfit, in which is now located at the very back of this new procedurally generated space station and we're going to start salvaging whatever starts to land and we're just going to start selecting random pieces so like holes and wings and thrusters just absolutely anything that lands we are going to go ahead and salvage the lot now once you do this enough times and it only took me to be fair after doing this repeatedly to start getting all the parts that i want it only took me about five ten minutes of doing this and i got enough for my very first ship however we are not going to stop there today because i'm going to show you something else so the very next thing you need to do is once you start getting all your ship parts that you want you want to go ahead and speak to this chap the technology merchant now he sells something brand new which you need which are these brand new reactors now of course we are only gonna go for an s-class reactor because why wouldn't we and remember we've already got the game set in set to free so even purchasing that reactor part didn't cost you any nanites at all so don't worry about that so you've gone ahead you've got your thrusters you've got your wings you've got your holes and now you've got your reactor but that's only like pretty much what one of each one that you've got so far how do you get more now this is where the next part of this comes in now you do have a couple of options open to you for this demonstration i'm going to show you the quickest and the easiest way to get this done and this is by duplicating those items so rather than just having one or two of the same thing you can have as many as you want infinite amounts and that is quite easily by doing the very wonderful personal refiner duplication glitch and if you have the mk2 refiner you can do two duplications at once so in my case i'm going to put a speeder fuselage in there and then we're going to look for that reactor that i bought because it is an s-class reactor and you need those for every single ship so it's always a good idea to pretty much duplicate as many of them as possible because each space station only holds one so as always put any of the items that you want to go ahead and duplicate inside of your personal refiner jump in and out of your ship make a save point take those items back out and now we need to go and find somebody and give an item to it can be any item that you want but just not the ones obviously that you're trying to duplicate so once you get the items and you send it over make sure it says send the message will pop up once that happens go ahead reload your auto save and then when you're back in the game you'll be able to see that your items will now be duplicated they'll be in your inventory first of all and then 
then just check your personal refiner. Those items will still be there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know the setup and it's quite easy to do. And look at all of these parts that I've managed to get. I've actually got a lot more in the Starship as well. So let's get making some brand new custom ships. So for this demonstration, let's make a fighter. And I've got every single part. And again, it literally took me around about an hour all in to get all of these parts. And I've got them now so I can just duplicate these to my heart's content. And I'll never run out of them. Always remember as well to use the S-Class Reactor Cores because the S-Class will give you an S-Class Fighter straight away, guaranteed, no messing about. And like I said, you can go ahead, buy one completely for free, duplicate it as many times as you want so you never run out. So we've got all of these wing designs and then we've also got all of these thruster designs as well that we can choose from. So now it's just as easy as selecting exactly what you want and then giving it a wonderful wacky color scheme in your own image. Now, I like wacky, I like crazy, so we're going to make this as crazy and as wacky as possible. I mean, guys, there we go. It's absolutely wonderful. I can make this white chrome and golden, you know, long nose fighter. It looks absolutely sick. And I can now make any any ship that I want because I've got every single part for for the fighters i've got every single part for the the haulers and the explorers i can make any quantity any design that i wish and it's literally taken an hour of my time to get the parts required it's literally amazing and just very quickly i made some more designs so here we go we have an amazing bright pink hauler and it's a big chunky boy as well. So we got that there. We can even make now these explorers that don't look like absolute dog water. Look at that. It looks like a billionaire's hauler. It looks fantastic. I would never thought would ever say that about a hauler, but it looks quite nice. I would actually drive this as a daily. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. What about a wonderful snubby with a droid wing? And it's yellow and chrome. It looks badass. I absolutely love it. And I think this... This is going to be my daily. This is definitely going to be one of my daily drivers. I mean, there's just so much to choose from. I actually feel spoilt for choice here. But there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, just showing you the power of what a little duplication can get you with the in-game settings that allows you to do this kind of craziness. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is literally just my first deep dive into this, figuring out some methods, and I've still got more to come. I've got something quite special in the pipeline as well so make sure you are subscribed to the channel to see when that does drop but i'm trying to figure out how to get just a hologram of the ship to actually become a flyable ship so not the ones with the color literally the one as you see before you start adding parts to it i'm wondering if you can actually have that as a workable ship and i think i've cracked some things but I'm going to wait until I can figure it out a little bit more before I release that method to the public. Like I said, make sure you subscribe, leave a like on today's video if you have enjoyed it, and let me know your thoughts about today's video as always in the comment section down below. Are you going to try doing this method yourself, getting all the parts and just duplicating them? It is a fantastic way. It's super quick, super easy, and within an hour, you'll have everything you want anyway. But yeah, let me know your thoughts today's video comment section. You know what to do. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is everything everything from me here today and as always my name is professor cynical and i'll catch you all again in the next one bye for now